We're celebrating the teachers of Northwest Community Schools. Today we're joined by art educator at Northwest Elementary, Jessica Crandall. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Bart. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am great. Uh, Alan Lazaro is here wearing his hospital scrubs, and here you are yeah. wearing your painting scrubs. Yeah, mine are a little bit dirtier than his. <laughs> More colorful, but a bit, bit dirtier, a bit messier. Well, before the show, we were talking about art, and uh, it was surprising to me and to Brandon earlier today that not all schools have art as one of their specials. Yes, it's, um, it's actually quite shocking, because I know I mentioned to you, like, there's something really powerful about kids getting off the screen and creating something with their own two hands, I think that's something that kids should experience. So I'm super lucky, grateful that Northwest has chosen to invest in those kinds of programs. So. Now, is that what your goal was before you um, got into teaching to get at, to be an art educator? Um, yeah, so I, I um, got multiple degrees, so <laughs> that way I could, um, most schools, have one art educator if they're lucky and mm -hmm. so I got multiple degrees so I could make myself more available and then I an art position opened I was able to slide in and mm -hmm. it's you know my favorite place to be so what, what are your other degrees in? I also have a bachelor's of science so with a concentration in earth science so actually um, when I started teaching in Grass Lake I taught art in the morning and earth science in the mm -hmm. afternoon it was quite an interesting combo but when the chance, um, when Northwest brought back art for their elementaries, it was a chance I couldn't pass up. And so I hopped on that and been smiling ever since. Well, they added uh, art to STEM for STEAM, which yes. includes now their group together anyway. So your part, if you yeah. were to do both, yep. it's, it's <laughs> Yep, that's one of the new uh, educational <laughs> like, hot topic words is STEAM. STEAM. So, yeah. Were you an artist before you became an art educator? I was. I, I was one. Of, I was the kid in high school who took every art class that I could and did independent studies for art and had amazing, amazing art educators when I was a student. And so um, I knew that's something I wanted to get into, you know, when I had an opportunity to become a teacher. So how long have you been at it? Uh, this is my 17th year teaching. Nice. Yep. Ninth year at Northwest. So. And when you came to Northwest, you actually started the art program. I did. I started, I was, um, Jeff brought back, Jeff and the board brought back art after almost like a 30 year absence. And so I was able to bring back this curriculum. I was able to come up, Jeff and the administrators have been super amazing to like, let me develop my own curriculum based on what the students need. And nice. so that's awesome. So you got to go through the Blick catalog and order a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, well you brought some photos in, so let's take a yeah. look. Um, this is just me painting at Bright Walls in the mini mural contest. I feel like it's important for my students to see me actually in enjoying art myself and just, as an artist. I'm putting two and two together. I yeah. remember seeing you there. Yes, I said that's your photo, yeah. I think. JTV, yeah. So like when they asked, somebody tagged me in it and I saved it and so I'm gonna send that back to Bart because I think that's his. So <laughs> this is a mural in your school. It is. Every single year I kick off the entire school year with every student making a piece of art to put on a gigantic school-wide collaborative mural and this year to honor the um, James Webb Space Telescope launch we looked at we did some out of this world cosmic art so I'm a big believer I get in messy and creating art on the very first day so this is their first day in the art room Wow, the first day what a great accomplishment yeah yep <laughs> You brought the kids down on Bray Walls. Um, all almost, th almost 300 fifth graders, <laughs> along with their classroom teachers. We uh, this field trip, Bright Walls, the Bright Walls team was incredible. So we threw it together and we brought the kids down, and it was incredible for them to see the artists. We got to see, go to the artist panels. A lot of students, it was their first time downtown, so they were super excited to come downtown and actually see art process in the works. So they were super excited. It was an amazing field trip. The kids were incredible. The teachers, my colleagues were incredible. Those fifth grade teachers, I said, I got a crazy idea. And they jumped on it. It was yeah. awesome. <laughs> that was my favorite part of Bright Wall, seeing all the kids, school kids. Oh my gosh, that day was incredible. Yeah. It was awesome. More artwork? Yeah, just some painting. Um, you know, I kind of just threw you a couple pictures of just, that's just a regular day in the art room. Third grade did some painting just you know a picture just kind of show how like every kid you could give the same direction but 
you got to give them the freedom to kind of interpret those directions. And so every, that's just a variety of every kid kind of took it and, you know, yeah, Northwest, did their own thing. Northwest Elementary is a big building. Do you it teach, is. do you get to, every teacher, every kid get art? Every kid gets art. So we have 30 sections, almost uh, about 830 some students. I see everybody once a week for 45 minutes. So oh I see every kid every week <laughs> and it's a crazy schedule, but I love it. It's in, like the kids love it. They do amazing things in 45 minutes. Like, yeah, they're pretty awesome. <laughs> Now, is art for everyone? Because kids will say, I'm not artistic, I'm more I'm into sports, I want to take more sports, but you want to get every kid exposed. Every kid gets <laughs> art. I mean, and I tell them, you know, they'll, most kids equate being a good artist with knowing how to draw realistically. And so I just tell them, you know, everybody's an artist, you just got to find your thing. And I always tell them, like, you know, you think I might be able to draw really good realistic people, but compared to an adult artist, like, that's not my thing. Mm -hmm. You just got to find your own little niche. And so over the course of our three years together, we do everything from drawing, painting, printmaking. We do weaving and some sewing. So we try to get everything so everyone finds something that they're excited about. Sewing? I wish they had taught that in my school. Yeah. yeah I've got buttons all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Like, artistic sewing. Sewing, I'm good at, but I still call grandma when I need some. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, in these 17 years you've been teaching art, have you have you uh, spawned some some arts artists uh, in in careers or as uh, money makers? Um, so my first group of students um, of art students have just been graduating high school, so they're okay. into college. Um, but I see like the students I had at Northwest who are in high school now, mm -hmm. and they are amazing artists they're incredible people like they are getting works you know kind of displayed at Ella Sharp do the mm -hmm. art alone um, I really hope to see some of them just kind of venture in and even if it's not being an artist maybe it's graphic design maybe it's video game design but just trying to really foster that love of creating so mm -hmm. that way they can carry that with them you know we, we met one kid last year we interviewed Jeremiah Britton at the mural at the yes, high school. Yes, Northwest alum. Yeah, and uh, one of the seniors uh, was getting ready to go to Savannah College of Art and Design, mm -hmm. inspired by Jeremiah and the art that he learned at Northwest. So you might yeah. have had something to do with that. Possibly. My first group of seniors from Northwest graduated last oh. year. So yeah, possibly. I, I like to think that maybe kids will take a little bit of something. Maybe it's just a project or Maybe it's a material or a medium and, you know, just take a take a love with, of that with them, you know, or just look back and reflect on it and have good memories, you know. Awesome. Yeah. I would say those 850 kids at Northwest Elementary are pretty lucky to have uh, you as their art teacher. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty lucky. They are incredible. Like they always rise to the occasion. They're excited to create. They're excited to learn. So they are pretty amazing kids over there. Well, it's great to have you back here at JTV. Thanks for coming Thanks. in. Thank you so much for having me. Art Educator, <laughs> this month's teacher feature featuring Jessica Crandall from Northwest Elementary. Up next on